Miter Attack Series, Attack Navigator. We're going to do a gap analysis on a specific threat. Let's get started. We're going to do some research here on a specific threat to get a better understanding. This happens to be a threat roundup by Cisco Talos that talks about the threats that they've seen over a period of time. You've got indications of compromise, registry entries, files, and, and directories. You've got file hashes, and you can also pivot to see more IOC-based information as well. And they talk about coverage around product if it has an ability to mitigate or detect the risk. But here's the important piece, the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So what they've done is they've taken a specific threat and aligned it to the TTPs the adversary is using or that particular threat is using. Let's go ahead and import this into Navigator. This is locally installed on our machine and we can see that there's a variety of tactics and techniques that are being leveraged. Persistence, privilege escalation, defense evasion, credential access, command and control, We've got collection and discovery. We've given this a score of one and we've given it a name. We've also included the write-up from Cisco Talos as well. So let's go ahead and import maybe some of the security capabilities that we might have in the organization. In this case, we're looking at secure endpoint and you can see there's a collection of capabilities. Again, there's comments that are made here and varying nuance in, in regards to the sub techniques and coverage, right? There's always gonna be nuance here. And you can see the scoring here. We've actually used a low value of one and a high value of three, and the colors correspond to that. We also have the ability to set the score on this particular thread as well, uh, just like we did with the, um, the ransomware, the actual attack itself. And we give it a name, and again, any links that we might wanna reference here as well. So let's shrink this up and just look at the core tactic and technique and what we can do here is we can pivot and we see comments in regards to the evaluation that was made in regards to how that tactic or technique was met you can see that it's persistence that's the tactic and then the techniques and sub techniques that are called out here it's a nice way of pivoting from navigator into miter attack and uh, get a better understanding of what tactic and technique and sub technique that we're investigating here Let's go back here, let's pivot into the technique itself. And you can see here, log on auto start execution also has 14 sub techniques, specifically registry run keys, startup folder is one that we're looking at here. And it gives us all the details, procedure examples, any mitigations that could be available to this and any references that might also be available. Again, the more we know, the better that we can either prevent the adversary from being successful or have the ability to detect it, something might be uh, compromised within the environment and obviously look at mitigating controls elsewhere in the environment. Again, the more we know, the better that we can detect a threat that may be uh, ongoing within the environment, also prevent the threat potentially with this technique or upstream because remember there's a collection of capabilities that they're going to leverage in order to be successful and we may not be able to mitigate this one specifically but other areas within the attack chain we certainly could okay now that we have a good understanding of how we might mitigate or detect as well as what the adversary is using let's overlay them and look at the missing pieces so we're going to look at a which is the ransomware overlay it with the secure endpoint capability and anything that's left that's not covered by B, we're gonna identify here. Now this is a quick way of understanding our overall risk because we're gonna see any tactics and techniques that we may not have coverage for with this specific analysis. Now remember, we might have other products in line that help mitigate risk. And in fact, there's a couple things. If we look and pivot back, we can see there is three items that aren't covered, some of which in fact could be covered and maybe weren't identified in our original analysis of the secure endpoint, or they might be mitigated through other capabilities within the organization. So if we look at communication through removable media, if we disable say USB keys, then uh, potentially uh, we're gonna mitigate that risk. And again, it calls out the mitigations and detections that are available for that particular tactic and technique.
So that was command and control, communication through removable media. We also see um, a, a discovery with peripheral device discovery and collection was also highlighted here as well as a tactic that was being leveraged. But we can grab the name, we can go ahead and name this new analysis of both the threat and the coverage and call this gap analysis based on uh, when ransomware and the variant itself. And that way we can leverage this in a report where we highlight where our gaps are in the organization and the steps that we're going to take in regards to mitigating these tactics and techniques that do not have coverage. Now we can also take a picture of this and this could be built into our report. We can take this and apply it. So again, it's just a very quick way of getting a good understanding of the threat itself, very specific threat. It's not a group, it's not a campaign per se. It's a specific threat that has specific tactics and techniques that are associated to it. We apply that against our coverage model and we get an idea of where the gaps are within the organization.